Hello people, welcome back to the most inconsistent channel in the community. So before this video begins, please do not question why I'm in the dark. Um, it's, it's not late, but I'm just in the dark anyways, because I kind of like it. And as you can probably tell, I'm not really running off a script with this video, so I'm kind of pausing on everything I'm saying. For the past like two years, all of my videos had been scripted, so I just wanted to see what would happen if I wasn't just reading all of my words or something. So today I'm going to be talking a little bit about boxing, kind of-ish. Essentially what's happened is I've been called out to a fight and um, this isn't as a joke, someone's actually called me out to a fight. And the call out video was really awful. I'm going to like, I'll play a little bit of it for you guys, but I'm not going to play all of it because it genuinely just... It was just awful. I'll just get out and say it. Hey, where's Bueno? Little bitch. Just when you. Little bitch. Italian striker. He's bigger than this because he's got his hands. What the fuck? Like, when I first saw it, I thought it was a joke. But then, remembering who actually made it, it probably was not a joke. So, I've been called out by the one and only Saint Omega. And, um... It, it was just a really poor call out video such that I made my own version and ended up getting the same amount of likes as his because it's just funny in it. So Hammers, how about you get your skinny little ass in the ring with me in May on the DKS? When you stop being a pussy and make concept card to get on a real card with me, one on one in the ring, about an Italian striker, you wanna just fight Hammers and duck down. So how about this? You fight a real man, you fight, you step in the ring with me in May on DKM. Boom. So this guy, he um first he called me. Hammers Bueno and the Italian striker uh, bitches. Um, not very nice. I didn't really do anything wrong. You know, he used to be a fan, but since he got signed to the, he got signed to the, he got signed to the, since he got signed to a promotion, right? He thinks he's um, suddenly some like twenty-seven and zero boxer with forty-eight KOs, if that's even possible. So he's called me a pussy because I make concept cards. Uh, if you don't know, I do that a bunch and it gets a lot of attention, except I've not really done it recently. And he's telling me to get on a, a real card with him and face him one on one. So the funny thing about this is we've already had this conversation. Uh, we had this conversation a few months ago. The person that started these talks was actually me, um, you know, because I don't really know how weight works. So I was just kind of calling anyone out and he, you know, we both had the same goal. We both wanted to fight that Matthew guy, the Polish one, the the guy that's going to get knocked out by Finn in about a week. But um, he didn't really respond to any of my tweets or anything for a while. So then I just messaged him asking for his weight. And he was like, oh, yeah, no, I'm like 50 kilograms. Currently, um, I'm very heavy. I'm very out of shape because I'm just kind of enjoying my life right now. So I'm about 20 kilograms more than him. So we decided this fight's probably never going to happen this year. Suddenly, because like I said, he's been signed to a promotion and he's got himself a fight somewhere. He thinks he can just kind of lie and um, pretend that this fight is possible. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is not possible. The funny thing is, um, like, watching this call-out video, I don't even think he believed the thing he was saying. Like, it really looks like he was reading off some, like, Thomas the Tank Engine notebook or something. Because he just, you know, he said a lot of stupid things. Like, that concept card line was really just poor. Because, if I recall correctly, which I do, and I've posted about this. You wanted to be on all of my concept cards to the point where you messaged me with a bunch of images of yourself like, hey, please put me on, here's some photos of me. And I got uh, really annoyed with it, so I decided to just kind of put you at the bottom of like two of them or something. This fight would be interesting. Like, if, if I wasn't overweight, this fight would be possible maybe it could happen you know like maybe i could fight in may um 
but unfortunately uh, I'm not fighting in May because uh, the, the fight night's on a Sunday and I've kind of got school the next day and I don't even know if I can afford to go down there. Like, I was asked a few times if I wanted to fight on there. Uh, I kept saying, like, I'll have to see about it, but then eventually I just said no. So to the people that wanted the St. Omega fight, um, it's not happening. And to St. Omega, um, Hammers Bueno beats you, Italian Striker beats you, and I beat you. Like, let's just be honest here. You, you lose to everyone. You're genuinely awful. I, I've seen your footage. I saw your TikToks and all of that stuff. You gassed out after about 20 seconds of hitting a bag. Like, how? You literally gassed out faster than Froglin. I did not know that was possible. So he's fighting some random ginger kids, apparently, on DKM, which is where everyone's going to fight now. Uh, DKM, I think I spoke about them in my last video on Small Creator Boxing. They were previously known as Level 1 Boxing, but then they partnered with like some proper big company, and now everyone wants to fight there because they're actually doing well. You know, the DKM card is pretty good. Like, it looks good, and I like I said i'd love to fight on there but i just can't i'll have to wait i think their next card's in august so maybe i'll be on that one they've got some pretty good fights on there you know they've got um the frost zone versus mr boxing scene uh i think we know who's winning that fight obviously callum like the other guy he talks way too much and i really dislike him although i still follow him because i follow everyone he called out a bunch of people like Hammers Bueno and uh, I think everyone just calls out Hammers Bueno at this point but no one really fights him and he just he talks he talks a lot but then he can't box I remember he made a tweet recently posting about his boxing journey and it was titled day one of learning how to box how could he talk so much trash when he don't even box and then how can he get a fight when you don't even box and you're currently not boxing because you're on holiday somewhere like genuinely i think he's going to no not i think he is going to get knocked out quite quickly and it's going to be a really easy fight for callum we've also got jays versus caleb rose dj i think i said that right i definitely did not watch a video on how to say it that it that's like it's just a banging fight you know i really got no clue who's going to win jay's obviously he's fresh off another fight against a real 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 boxer and he gave that real boxer problems but then caleb he's he's got a bunch of wins on that student fight night whatever i've made a video on him before uh i think i've got that private right now i don't know why but uh, i i guess i'll in private i i can't wait to see that fight like it's gonna be lit it's gonna be a very fun watch uh we've also got anton bell versus fighting with jay obviously i'm quite familiar with fighting with jay as i made him on fight night and he got knocked out by lesra gomez on there but it is what it is now we finally get to see what he can do in person what he's six foot six or six foot seven like that's massive he he could be a real problem in the heavyweight scene but then obviously anton bell he's got more experience you know he's he's done this before he's been here before so again that's another fight where i don't know who's gonna win it can go any two ways i'm sure most of the scene are rooting for anton because this is uh it's the uk versus the netherlands here and um there's a lot of uk people and it's happening in the uk there's also the Boba jensen against dawns uh it's a fight that's not really talked about much um dawns is fucking awful he beat ashley kino recently which is fair enough but they were both awful. It was really sad to watch. But then, obviously, Brandon, well, he is all right. Um, he's 0-3, so, you know, everyone's rooting for him to get that redemption. You know, he's been talking about that redemption story because Deji, he was 0-3, and now he, he's on a winning streak at the moment. So Brandon's hoping to replicate that. I think that is an easy win for Brandon, me personally, because like I said, 
thorns is ass okay that man cannot box even i'd beat him although he he's way taller than me or whatever i don't know that's not a call out by the way i'm i'm just saying but yeah for all the fights that have been announced so far except saint omega's fight they're all pretty good you know the cards shaping up very well uh i've heard some rumors of other people who might be fighting there and i'm really excited to see them fight but yeah that's all i have to say really word of advice if you're gonna call people out please don't make it cringe please tell the truth um don't get clowned and don't think you're sick when you're not don't turn on the people that helped you uh yeah that's it follow the twitter that's where i'm most active that's where you can see live update uh you know we've got fight series 002 coming soon nathan alshom main eventing simulated stuff also got the england versus usa match that should be out in about a week or two uh i'm yet to announce the date but yeah once i've done working on this video that i'm just filming right now then i'll be working on that one but yeah that's all from me i'll see See you in the next video in about a year. Bye.